let's create one complete solution that is how we can deploy a simple dockerized application to ecr then we how we can create task definition followed by task service and a cluster and try to run it so this scenario will be having complete tutorial so that you will understand what i'm trying to say so let's go with the coding first uh, so i'll just go and go back one step back over here so i'm at the root level so here what i'm gonna do is like i'm gonna create one more folder called books i have an api um here api right so here i'll be having uh three files quickly i'm gonna drag and draw because i don't have to waste your time over here so here if i go back you can paste it so what i got is books docker so this time i'm running the books on port 9000 okay same i've wrote it down the same thing you have to add the curl uh, uh, installation everything in the docker file main same functionality as uh, the user uh, user's api i just wanted to delete this one quickly i deleted that uh, requirement.txt has the same functionality but inside this one i just need to add saying that this time i have to run uh, books api that is there on not on 9000 but two uh, but the 9000 right so if i go and quickly run docker compose build and check it <coughs> all right it's stalling everything okay so if i go back and instead of this one i'll just check on port 9000 okay so 9000 is running fine all the books and everything and this one is like uh, um, running on localhost 9001 now we have to, um, you know, push the, those things on AWS cloud uh, via the deep functionality which I was talking about. So how to do that one? So first step, as soon as you created that one, first step, okay, you have to push that one to ECR, right? So go to ECR. Let's see whether we have uh, ECR repo there for that one or not. So I don't have that one, right? So I'll just quickly create that one there for books books api is there now just create this one boom okay so that was created now if i go back here i've already i think locked in so um okay so i just need to go to books first and then first check whether i can successfully logged in yes i logged in now the second thing is that i have to build that one so docker build so this time i have to give a tag called books so that was given and third time is like give a tag to that image quickly given the tag and the fourth thing is just push it okay so you already push that one till the time it pushes that code into the ecr and what you do is like go and create a new uh, service inside the cluster which you already have over here so create a service here launch a capacity provider select that one now if you select this one you will be seeing the another task definition oh task definition you haven't created my bad you, you have to create first task definition right um so first go and create a task definition right now here you need to write <coughs> books books user api and select the same thing is your task execution role uh, here you have to write books and now if you go back here and just refresh this you can see that is there now select that task definition select the latest image on that now this one was export to 9000 right so here i you ha you can just type books api port name yep keep it simple and just run it right so we push the image to ecr we um, created a task definition second step third def third step is create 
the next service, the other service inside the same cluster. So if I go here and then create, I don't have any service, okay, the other service the books want. So I'm just gonna go here and select the family type here. See this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna get two things, okay, two dash definitions, which is, which are already we configured there. This time we have to create books. Now books you have to select here. Now uh, don't worry about those stuff and then just create it. Okay, now just try refreshing it. Yep, so it will be launched. So the guys, you have to understand that if something is not working, it won't, uh, it take a lot of time. So you can quickly understand something is going wrong. Okay, so if um, like for instance, for in my case, it takes like uh, less than uh, two minutes, something like that to launch those two services. Oh, I prefer, uh, I would say like that, but Let's see, it's like keep going on and on and on. So if I go and check it, so here, uh, if I refresh the task, not yet created, um, refresh that, not yet created, refresh this. Um, okay, so let me check whether that was there or not. Yes, it is there, the task definition is there. Okay, so something is going wrong so you can go and check what's going wrong here that was not running but let me check in desired status no why so what's going on so here let me quickly check tasks running tasks behavior services what's wrong oh no let me quickly delete this one i don't know i'll just wait for some time so that's a good example i would say uh, that you can understand what's going on um only one is running it's, it's really weird so let me quickly delete this one check what's going on yeah so that's how you can rectify the problems let me quickly delete this and double check the task definition okay so task definition is there um yeah so what one more thing what you can do is uh, you can select the task definition and say that and deploy and create a service over here from here directly okay now it uh, automatically fulfills everything there so just type books api here service can you don't require that those things and i think that's pretty much it and then just create this one okay so that is still in uh, deletion mode so yeah so that's how you need to understand that how uh, scenario works so if you deleted one of the services and you can't create a new one with the same one it is saying that uh, you have to wait for some time because the service which you recently created that has to delete first uh, so uh, just wait for some time till the time it get deleted um, now it will show you a message over here there here is that it will be deleted soon so what I'm gonna do is like uh, here I'm gonna select it back deploy create service and uh, it's the naming condition fine but here I'm gonna give a different name called books API v1 something like that uh, so or else just need to quickly check yes that was deleted so the thing is that you don't require v1 over here just take that off and then create one yep so it will be created soon just try refreshing that yep so it's provisioning i don't know what went wrong last time but this time it seems to be working fine just keep refreshing this one and just check this tab that it's in progress so now if you go inside and check task it should be there right so try refreshing this again and again yes so that was running actually yeah that is running now go inside and go network binding and select hit this one now if you type docs yes that is there right yeah so that's how you will be having <coughs> two services running in a cluster that is a bookshop cluster now the second point is that um, we will see how those two services can communicate 
with each other what is the scenario so how we can do that one so there is a solution which is like a really tough in the next video i'm gonna show you that how you can uh, let uh, uh, two services communicate with with each other with the scenario of or like scenario plus the practical overview and everything right so i'm quickly gonna uh, delete those two services for now uh, so that uh, i'll be creating a new one right so let me go and stop it and thanks for watching